how how do we awaken from identification with thinking well first of all we need to know what we mean when we say identification with thinking. To a large extent, awakening is understanding what identification with thinking really is. So let us ask that question. What do we mean when we say identification with thinking? Identification with thinking means that we need to think in order for us to know who I am. It means that the sense of self is invested in concepts. And every time we are being confronted with a question, who are you? then we think into existence this self-image. It is a self-image that is constructed by concepts. And that means that our self-identity is constructed by nationality, by gender, by the work that I'm doing, social status, all of these different social constructs, they define who I am when we identify with thinking. It is simply an idea about who I am and nothing but an idea. And we need to see that clearly. Mind you that what I'm saying here is not that, that these social roles or that these descriptions of what you do, that they don't matter. Of course they matter in everyday life, but they have absolutely nothing to do with who you are in your essence. And that is the dilemma. Not many humans are aware of this fact. And that is a source of a lot of suffering. The reason for that is that when we are, when we have invested the sense of self in these outer what to call them, social constructs, when we are solely invested with the sense of self in these constructs, then suffering is unavoidable. And the reason for that is that these constructs, these social constructs, they are ever-changing. 
you might encounter a period where it seems to be solid or stable. <laughs> but hang around. <laughs> they will change. And when they change, when you lose a job, when you, you lose some social status, when you lose whatever it is that you identify with, when you lose that, you will be suffering as if something essential about yourself are being lost. And you are, of course, you are welcome to do, to, to, to suffer that. I'm, I, if, if you don't want to, I will not take that away from you. Not at all. If you want to invest yourself, your sense of self, into those fluid things, those ever-changing things, then go ahead. But it is a very superficial way of living. And in most occasions, fear is the constant companion. The fear of losing. The fear of losing oneself. The fear of dying, actually. Because every time that something changes that you have been identifying with, that will be a little death, an ego death. And that is why there is suffering. So identifying with thinking. If I were to ask you, who are you? Then observe yourself. Who are you? Observe yourself. Do you notice the impulse to start to answer that question in words, in concepts, maybe not out loud, but to yourself by thinking them into existence? I am not criticizing you, not at all. If you are identifying with thinking, and most humans are, you have absolutely nothing to do with that. It's not your fault. You have simply just happened to come into this world where You have been, been surrounded by human beings that were all identifying with thinking. And then you have been indoctrinated into that environment. During a time where you had absolutely no defense against it. So we pretty much all end up like that. I did too, and it was painful, <laughs> and I didn't knew why, until one very beautiful evening, almost exactly 15 years ago, where a light switch was turned on inside my mind. And a sudden instant it dawned on me. I am not my thoughts. I am not my thoughts. 
Thoughts come and go. For the most of the time they come completely on their own. I have nothing to do with them. They seem to have a life on their own. And that is why it is painful to identify with them. <laughs> because when we are identifying with thinking, we have no free will. Because every thought that appears, we take that thought to be a thought that I am thinking, that I am creating. So it suddenly dawned on me. I was suddenly able to observe the thinking process. I was sort of suddenly separated from it, just watching. And I was able to see very clearly that the thoughts, they were just arising on their own. That was the first epiphany that they seem to have a life on their own. The second epiphany was when it suddenly dawned on me that I am the observer. I am the observer of everything inside and so-called outside. A completely quiet, endless ocean of aware presence. Undisturbed. never changing. And perhaps calling it an ocean is not the best metaphor, for we all know that, or perhaps not, for even though there are ripples on the surface, the ocean itself not, does not really change. But let's call it an endless space. A silent, endless space of aware presence. Saturated with cosmic intelligence. That is the observing that I am. And that is not a new thought form. I know that I am here describing it by using words, but I do not need to describe it to myself. I can simply just lean back into this vast silent ocean of aware presence. Being that, knowing that it is always there, undisturbed, undisturbed by any event or any thought. The human being might be disturbed. Then I am observing the disturbed human being. <laughs> then I am undisturbed, endless, aware, present space, observing a disturbed human being.
And then I can embrace that human being with love. Wrap it with endless love and compassion. So if you were to ask me, who are you? This would be my response. If I were to ask myself, who am I? Then this would be my response. And then this beautiful hmm what to call it? No, if if I were to ask you, who are you? And if this is not your response. Then I would say to you, that's not who you are. If you were to try to tell me, I am this and I am that and I am... Then I would say, no, that's not who you are. I know who you are. We are the same. So, when I say fall in love with silence, fall in love with stillness, I am actually saying fall in love with yourself. I am actually saying fall in love with everything. <laughs> So, identification with thinking is sleepwalking. Identification with thinking means that we have to think into existence the idea, the self-image, the idea about who we are, who I am. That is the sole cause for so much suffering in the world. So what we are doing here is that we are awakening out of this identification with thinking. And if you have been listening so far, you are awakening out of identification with thinking. Because otherwise you would not have been able to listen to me. Thank you for listening to me. I shall be back. <laughs>